Yolanda Merritt has been a special education teacher at Spring ISD for 15 years. I'm for the students who can't speak. I'm for the students who are learning how to eat, how to clothe themselves. She does not support a so-called school choice program, which would allow parents to take public school tax dollars and use them for a different type of education. It just hurts my heart to think that we want to take public dollars and use it for a specific population of students. Quality of public school is North well Texas Representative James Frank defended his bill Tuesday. It would create education savings accounts using half a billion dollars that would be managed by the comptroller. It's good for parents, it's good for kids, and it's good for schools. Low income families would be eligible for $10,300. Wealthier children or those already enrolled in private school would be eligible for half that amount. But not all lawmakers are sold on the idea. Why not just take these limited funds that we have and make sure that we create a setting for every child. There is a constitutional issue that we need to address one way or the other. One Texan who showed up to testify says the money would allow his daughter, Mary, who has Down syndrome, to go to a private school. Both my wife and I work, but we're still making clear under $100,000, uh, and this would help us uh, to get another option for my daughter's education. The purpose of an education system is to educate kids, not to prop up any particular system. Nathan Kaneen is with the American Federation for Children. Last week's House vote to prohibit voucher funding in the budget sent a strong signal these bills likely aren't going anywhere. But Kaneen is banking on the conference committee, a smaller group of lawmakers in the House and Senate who figure out the final budget behind closed doors, will remove that amendment and allow school choice funding. That amendment is not yet law. The Senate has passed a compelling school choice bill, and with Texas leadership and support, I have a lot of hope that we can get school choice done this year. But Merritt wishes the half billion dollars would instead go to teacher raises, more resources, and licensed psychologists on public school campuses. It would be unimaginable some of the things that we could do with that money. For Spectrum News, I'm Charlotte Scott. Thanks for watching our YouTube channel, and for more refreshing stories about your community, Click the subscribe button right over here. You can also download our Spectrum News app to get live news coverage, weather alerts, and more wherever you are. And don't forget to tune in to Channel 55 on DISH and DirecTV for live local reporting every single day. We'll see you then.